Evans. Gets a pass ball run, it's beautifully played. Absolutely superb. Got a bit of a charge, has to win for the leg side. He puts it away. What an over this is becoming now. Uh, this is a huge over for Australia. They are on their feet. One day cricket does not get any better than this. It really doesn't. Champion batsman trying to dig his side out of the deepest hole. He's gone for it. Out to Cairns. They'll probably get two. They do get two. That's excellent cricket, Michael Bevan. Down the spot. Plays it superbly. They're running again. He's two points for a tie. We give for New Zealand too big a margin on Australia to be able to pick them up. It'll be safe from that point of view. So they have to get now 14 runs. They have to get the win. So Cairns make a magnificent century at the game, but this could be Michael Bevan's night. Adams has gone for it. He's got a pass and they'll get two. Oh, that's good cricket. Very good cricket, Andy Bickle. Andy Bickle's home. They ask the question. And he's there, surely. He's called for the third umpire, but I'm sure Andy Bickle is home. Uh, New Zealand aren't too excited about this, but uh, there was one earlier in the night where I thought Fleming was home and he was out. Andy Bickle's pretty nonchalant about the whole thing. I think he'll say to Michael Bevan, I got there, mate, don't worry. Not a problem, just Daryl here is being very cautious, and he's well in. Well and truly in. <laughs> they love it. They have just one that's all that was in the early in the week. Well, it's given Michael Bevan a good opportunity to talk to Andy Bickle and say, look, we're only 10 away here, mate. We're only 10 away here. Bevan will be thinking, I can win this myself, this over. Rory up to the stumps. Stonefords down deep to run off. Fumble. Oh, terrible crit his own. Back comes Beckle. Well played, Michael Bevan. A super effort. Bevan got two runs. Absolutely magnificent hundred. He raised the bat, waves to his teammates, he waves to an ecstatic crowd. Andy Bickle goes down. He says, well done. Michael Bevan said, yeah, it will be if we get there. It'll be a much better hundred if we win the match. So let's just go about doing that. Six one day hundreds, he's second against New Zealand. This is going to be one of the best ever by Michael Bevan. We win eight. Runs off eight balls. Two wickets in hand. Bevan on strike. He walks into the mid wicket again. There's two more. He's carving them up like a Christmas cake, Michael Bevan. All over the field. Bevan is on strike. Spectators are drumming their seats. Six of seven. Last ball. Andre Adams. Oh! I hit the hit Bickle. Bickle stopped it. Crashed in a Bickle, I'm sure. Let's have a look at that again. <laughs> he got run out as well. He crashed that back, Michael Bevan. Leaves Andy Bickle on strike. And I think that hurt. On the ground, Bickle examines his leg. Yeah. Andy Bickle might have done himself a bit of damage as well and twisting and turning and trying to get back. It was fiercely struck. Yep, and it's... Uh, gone off the bat I think has it off his bat ricocheted into his knee and then it's gone perilously, perilously close back towards the stumps and Adams had the presence of mind to try and run him out Bickle had the presence of mind to get back Bickle said that could hurt Australia it's back okay there's a chance for a go in and a short cover Australia needs six runs Trash it over the top, that could be four, could well be four, it is four, Andy Bickle gets a blip and puts it away, beautifully played, too wide, too short, great shot. Well, it's always asking a lot of the young man to put in the right spot, Shane Bond unfortunately got too much whip on this delivery, and that has taken the pressure right off Michael Bevan to win the match, but against Andy Bickle has almost done it for him, it's short and it's wide, and he gives it everything. Harris is in close, waiting for the catch. It's gone wide. Andy Bickle thinks, well, no, I haven't quite won it yet, but boy, I've gone a long way towards it. Um, 
wing of them. This could have been an outside exit with Ben McGrath on strike. Now, the other thing they've got to look for here, and Michael Bevan might consider it, this is running a bye so he can get on strike. It would be a heck of a risk because he's the one running to the danger end. Gets it away and it goes all the way. And what a victory. A magnificent innings for Michael Bevan. Great support from Warren Lee and Bickle. That keeps Australia's hopes alive in the BB Series. One of the great comebacks of all time. One of the great comebacks in one day international cricket history. Michael Bevan is man of the match. That is no surprise. And lost it to a great one day batsman. The average is 57. He's done it before and he's done it tonight under enormous pressure. They were 5 for 65 when he came to the crease. They were 6 for 82. And Warren, Lee and Bickle gave him great support. This is one of the great ovations. And well deserved. Here comes a very happy and relieved captain. Listen to that roar.